from Rimmer's Music and today I have a video for you presenting two guitars that are available right now on the Rimmer's Music website. I have got here a Gretsch G2622T Streamliner and an Epiphone ES339 in Cherry inspired by Gibson guitar. And they are, like I said, both available on the Rimmer's Music website. You can find a link in the description below the video. They're both at the same price point, or very similar price point on our website. A couple of pounds each way, I think, between the two. It's just to give you a bit of a helping hand this video. If you've seen them both on our website and you're thinking, what's the difference? Why we Gretsch? Should I go for a Gretsch uh, Semi Hollow or, or a 339 shape? But what's the difference between a 339 and a 335? I'm going to tell you in this video, and it will hopefully help you guys out. So I'll start with the Gretsch G2622T. Beautiful guitar, it really is. It's a semi-hollow, it has a spruce centre block running through the middle and this has a maple centre block running through the middle. So what am I talking about there? So in the middle of the guitar here behind the pickups is a spruce, it's like a spruce, I mean I said a spruce soundboard then like on a piano, it's not quite like that. But it just runs through, it's a block to help in regards to feedback and buzzing that you would potentially get with a semi-hollow bodied guitar. So it cuts it back, it makes it easy. So when you're playing on high gains, you won't get as much as that feedback that you would expect to get on these guitars. This is exactly the same, but instead of it being a spruce, Epiphone have used a maple, so the maple runs through the middle here. You can see it, if you have a look through the EF hole, you can actually see the, the thing. Weight-wise, there's a slight difference. The Gretsch is lighter, the Streamliner is a lighter guitar, even though it is a bigger body. This is a 339. So the famous one is the 335, which is a very similar body shape to the Gretsch in size, but the 339 is smaller. So it's very, very comfortable to sit and play, it really is. When you just, and standing up as well, it's got a great balance to it as well. It's a lovely, lovely, just sat like this. The other, the th you've got to lift over a little bit. So for different body shapes, for different preferences, both guitars have their plus points. And different guitars, similar price point, but there is a difference between them. Pickup wise, this has got Alnico Classic Pros in it, the ES339, and the Gretsch has got Broadtron B, I think it's BT2S pickups that are in it. They do sound very different. You'll hear them in a moment where you've heard the Gretsch and I'll play them both back to back so you can hear. The necks are very, very similar. They're both 12 inch radius necks and they're both U-shaped. So they do feel very, very similar, the necks. So the playability of both guitars is arguably virtually the same, to be honest. So you're not gonna, the main difference is the body shape, the pickups, the fact that this has also come loaded with a Bigsby trem system. So you can use the trem bar on it as well, which is really, really nice. Configuration slightly different as well with the 339. You've got a three way selector, same with the Gretsch, but instead of having one master volume control here and two individuals and one tone, with this you've got two volumes and two tone controls as well. Um, so with the Gretsch, slightly different. It's got a three way selector on it because it's got two pickups, so three way selectors up here. Master volume control, switching it on and off completely. And then you've got independent volume there and a one tone control. So, are you limited a little bit? No, I don't think, yeah, I think the tone's great. I, think, I really like Gretsch. I think the tone, the build quality is brilliant. I've got to say, I also love the Epiphone inspired by Gibson range. They feel brilliant. They really do feel, when you see the price of these guitars on our website, you'll be shocked because of the playability of them, they feel really, really high end. And they're not, they're not crazy money. They're a great introduction into the world of guitars. If you don't want to go out and buy a, a Gibson version of a 339 or a 335, which is like, what, two and a half, three grand? You can get one of these a lot less. It's like a three quarter of the price less. It's just a quarter of the price. Brilliant, really, really great deal. So let's have a listen now to this scratch properly. So I'll play that little bit of intro for you though. But just have a listen to that. I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to play in the neck position and I'm going to put that in the neck position as well so you can hear on both. <laughs> Thank you. 
for the neck position, you know, and it has a great sound. It's got a bit of a spank kind of sound to it, almost like a strap to something. <laughs> So straight away, it's going to keep the volume up to 10, tone up to 10 as well. On the neck position now, here straight away. Power coming from those on Ecos. <clears throat> great sound though, they've both got a great tone. They're lovely guitars, and like I said at the beginning, the playability of them is very, very similar. They're both instantly, yeah, these are brand new out of the box. I haven't done anything to them, I haven't set them up, they haven't needed setting up. They're perfect, they're brilliant, they just play great. Obviously, set up personally to each player. Some, you know, we all, some like it high, I prefer a little bit higher. Some like it really low if they want to play fast and try and keep that buzzing away. It's just a cool looking guitar. That cherry finish is absolutely beautiful. It's available in different colours as well, this guitar, as is the Gretsch. The Gretsch is also available in different finishes as well. This one here is Imperial Stain. It really does look nice. It's a really cool colour, that. Really lovely. Let's have another go this. Let's pop it into that middle position now, so both pickups together, and that's uh, a listen to it. tweed as well. A great, great sound really. <laughs> guitars on our website and you're thinking which one should I go for what is the difference between them tone wise I have done unique videos for each one of these guitars as well but it's just a bit of a semi hollow head-to-head -head there of Gretsch against Epiphone they're both different they're both amazing the decision is yours they're both really nice guitars there we go thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the Rimmers Music YouTube channel there's videos coming every single day now on all sorts of different products that we've got at Rimmers Music, pianos, keyboards, guitars, new products, X-Display products, you name it, we've got it coming. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you. You guys take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.